This is my ceiling fan, as you can see here. But if you look carefully here, where is the canopy, the cover, you can see a receiver. This is a remote receiver that uh, sitting next to the cover, but it's not inside. And that's what the previous owner did. And I really want to find out why he did it. And this is the remote control here. As you can see, the remote control is until, and that's quite old. The issue with this um, remote or the receiver, all this uh, system, is that uh, suddenly and randomly the light is turned on and off. So it's probably sensitive to uh, electromagnetic noise from other uh, neighborhood. That's why I want to replace it with a new one. I want to show you how I'm doing it. First thing to do is to turn off the light here. So that's the way it's looked from close proximity and I'm already starting to unscrew this screw here. And here, an here is another screw that to remove. I want to see really why the owner of this property put the receiver out uh, of the canopy cover. So I remove one screw and another screw I release because this screw you only need to release and there is another screw in the back which I need to unscrew it. So let me do it and show you how I'm doing it. This is the other two screws actually, it's not one screw, it's two screws from the other side. So you can see here, I'm going to release them now. Okay, I just took the screws. I want to see if this one can actually move. It's really difficult to remove it. You can see we are missing a mounting bracket. And the previous owner really uh, rely on the cover to all the fan. And that is uh, very dangerous. So that's why the receiver is out of the cover of the fan. So I run to Lowe's and uh, I just purchase a new mounting bracket key, as you can see here. And it's come with screws. So I would like to install it now and see if it works. So that's what I left here and what I want to do now, I really want to show you how this one was really stick. So that's the way it was stick to the ceiling. It's really interesting. But it was very insecure, which means it doesn't have the mountain bracket. So it might be very risky that if it will fall down, somebody will get hurt. The first thing I'll try to do is I'll try to remove this kind of bracket and put a proper bracket, mounting bracket. So there are two screws that keep this mounting bracket to the box, to the metal box in the wall. And I'm going to remove it because I really want to put the other mounting bracket. So let me show you the end result. So that's the way a new mounting bracket for fan look like, as you can see here. And I believe this one is kind of an old one or I don't know what. But that's the way the mounting bracket was there. And that's why the receiver was out of the cover of the fan. So I will try now to put this mounting bracket and see how it works. So that's the way it looks after I actually attach with two screws. You can see one screw is here and the other screw is here somewhere, yeah, it's here. 
So that's the way this mountain bracket now look like. And that's the way to do it, not with the old mountain bracket. So now I can actually start installing the receiver and really finish the job. Before I continue, I want to show you what's going on. Okay, that is the mountain bracket. And this is the neutral. Always the white is a neutral. This is the hat. And this is the ground, as you can see here. So you have three wires here. One of them is the hat, which is always the black. The other one is the neutral. And all of them coming from the ceiling, from here. Okay. This is the new ceiling fan remote control, as you can see here. Okay. And it's actually universal. And this is the receiver here. Okay, it's belonged to a company called Harbor Breeze. And that's here's the receiver. As you can see here. So that is the remote, as you can see here. And this is the hut. And that is the neutral. As you remember, I showed you before, the hut is coming from the ceiling. And this is the neutral coming from the ceiling. And here what you have is the antenna. And here is the blue that going to the light and here, and these two wires going to the motor this is the neutral of the motor and this is the heart of the motor so I'm going to install this receiver now look here on the receiver you can see two connectors special connector and how this connector work okay if I will take the heart here and I'm going to flip it here you can see, let me show you, because it's a little bit difficult. Okay, you can see there is another hole here. There is two holes. One of them already occupied by the hut coming from the receiver. The other hole is empty. And this hole, what I'm going to do, I'm going to insert the hot wire that's coming from the ceiling. This is the neutral. You have the same configuration here. If you can see the neutral, that come from the receiver already occupied and there is another hole here. This hole I'm going to insert the neutral wire that coming from the ceiling. So here is the neutral that I'm going to insert to this connector and that is the hat that I'm going to insert to the connector. Remember the electricity is shut down. So here I already put and inserted really the neutral to the connector now this is the other connector and the other connector unfortunately i need to work with one hand because i holding the camera i have to push this one in you can see inside powerful that's it it's in that's it push it here and you can see that he is already inside. This receiver doesn't come with ground because ground is really not needed here. Ground is actually going here to this place. So now what I have to do, I have to take this fan and put it on the mounting bracket. But before I'm going to put it on the mounting bracket, I want to explain to you about the three wires that you have here. These go to the motor. This one is also black, but it's going to the light. I know it because I put it here like that. You see? I fold it like this one because it was connected to the light uh, of the other receiver. And this one going to the neutral of the motor. So that's going to be to the Heart of the motor, that's the neutral of the motor, and this is going to the right. Before I'm going to put it, I'm actually going and just close strongly these screws here because this uh, fan was probably 15 years on this uh, ceiling without even uh, maintained. So I have to actually just lock them strongly, make sure they are 
not lose. So this is the way it looks after I insert or put the fan in the mounting bracket here. I just want to talk about the wires. As you can see, this is the two wires that connected to the receiver from the ceiling. This is the ground and these are the three wires that coming from the fan. This wire is going to the motor, this wire is going to the light and this wire is going to the motor. So here are these wires here, there are three wires, okay, that are really connected to the motor, to the motor, two of them, these two to the motor and the blue is going to the light. So let me connect them now. The first thing you have to go and put these receiver here you see here and the three wires are coming here one two and three okay you can see it one two and three wires are coming here and they will be connected to these three wires here that should be very simple okay i connected all the wire so these two wires are the source, and this is the hot and this is the neutral. This is the ground which I connected to one of the screws. And this is the three wires. These and these going to the motor and the blue one here going to the light. So the only thing left here just to test it and see if it's working properly. So this is the remote as you can see here for this uh, receiver. And you can see there are three speeds here, one, two, three, and zero, stop speed, and there's a light, and timers also. If I flip it here, here, okay, so you can see here where I point, there is two switch here, okay, here, getting close to it, there's two switch. This switch, the brown that you see here, the bottom one, this is a call learn and actually what, what's happening here, you actually press it for 30 seconds and then the remote is synced to the receiver. And this one on the top here, there is a switch that have two places, it's called O and D. And I actually put it in O because I don't have a dimmer. D is a dimmer, O is for all the rest. So it's foot on O. So let's try to see if it's working. First we turn off the light. So now what I'm doing, I'm actually pressing this button for 30 seconds. That's it, we get four light and actually now it's sync. And now let's let's say if it's working. Turn on the light, and the lights stay on. And now I can turn on the fan. That is the lowest speed, and this is the second speed. And now I'm going to press the three, the third speed, which is the highest speed. As you can see, it's working properly with no problem. So the only thing left now is to put the cover on the canopy. So I already put the cover as you can see. And now what we left to do is to check if it's working with the cover. Let's see. And So it's working very good, no problem. So the job is completed. It's very easy to do, everybody can do it. Do it yourself.